Feeling fit as a fiddle, American idiomatic expressions in health and wellness. Hello everyone, welcome to our video. Today, we are going to discuss a fascinating aspect of the English language. American English idiomatic expressions related to health and wellness, specifically focused on discussing physical and mental health. These expressions are incredibly prevalent in day-to-day -day conversation, and knowing them will not only help you understand English speakers better but also enrich your language skills significantly. First off, let's dive into idiomatic expressions that are commonly used to describe physical health. 1. Fit as a fiddle. This idiom is used to describe someone who is in excellent health. For example, even though my grandfather is 80, he's as fit as a fiddle. 2. Under the weather. Quite the opposite of being fit as a fiddle, if someone is feeling under the weather, they're not feeling well. For example, I think I caught a cold. I'm feeling a bit under the weather today. 3. Full of beans. This expression refers to someone who is energetic, lively, and in high spirits. For example, after a good night's sleep, I woke up full of beans. Now, let's shift our focus to idioms that relate more to mental or emotional states. 1. Down in the dumps. This idiom is used when someone is feeling sad or depressed. For example, she's been down in the dumps since her cat passed away. 2. On top of the world. In contrast, when someone is on top of the world, they're extremely happy or elated. For example, when I found out I got the job, I was on top of the world. 3. Having butterflies in one's stomach. This expression describes the feeling of nervousness, typically experienced before an important event. For example, I always have butterflies in my stomach before I give a presentation. And there we have it. Some handy American idiomatic expressions that will help you discuss physical and mental health in a truly authentic manner. Remember, idioms add flavor to a language and using them appropriately can significantly enhance your conversational skills. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Until next time, keep learning and keep practicing. Note. The meanings of idiomatic expressions can often depend on the context in which they are used, so it's a good idea to practice these in different scenarios for better understanding.